Hello and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm Monica Weitzel. Today we'll be talking with Atsidi Hannon, the Director of Marketing and Engagement at Metro East Community Media. Welcome, Atsidi. Hi, thanks for having me, Monica. It's great to have you on the show. You know, uh, Metro East had to close its doors due to the COVID-19 issue, uh, probably mid-March, I think. But really, we've been busier than ever. So why is this a, just a better time than ever to really engage with Metro East? Absolutely. You know, we've remained active throughout um, our closure. We continue to work from home which is really a privilege during these times. And we've been able to offer our workshops online, which is something we've always thought about, we've wanted to do, and now there's no better time than now to offer our workshops online. Uh, the great thing is, is that we're not necessarily offering our usual video production workshops. We're offering workshops that we feel the community needs right now, like our teleconferencing workshop, which was probably our most popular workshop. Um, it was great because people were able to learn about these features that their computer iPhone has in order to stay in communication with loved ones, but also for businesses in order to communicate with their community and also for all the folks that are working from home right now. So we're trying to maintain um, uh, relevancy during this time and trying to be um, an asset to the community. We're also offering these workshops for free for the entire public. So you don't have to be a member. You don't have to pay your Metro East fee. You don't need to pay a workshop free. This is a no strings attached uh, offer. So now uh, is the best time to kind of engage with us. If you've ever been curious or if you find that these workshops would be helpful for you, we really encourage you to take these because uh, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give the community uh, whatever resources that we can offer. Right, and I, th I think that's great. The teleconferencing was immensely popular. I think it was, uh, we did it once and we did it again by popular demand. So um, that's a really great offer for uh, businesses or nonprofits or just individuals trying to keep in touch with their family or their book clubs or their, you know, uh, wh whoever it is they like to keep in touch with, you know, their brunch group, whatever. What other kinds of things have we done uh, to, to be relevant to the community and to offer resources that could be helpful? Absolutely. So one of the things that we're doing is we want to maintain the community active and creative. You know, it's such a hard time and it can be hard uh, mentally, physically, psychologically in every form. And so we started um, running some contests to kind of keep that community engaged. And uh, the one that we have going on right now is photography. So we, we are asking the community to submit a black and white photo in order to uh, join the contest and possibly win a gift card, a $50 gift card. And we, we, you know, we, we thought about this whole process and we made sure that we considered our local businesses uh, throughout the whole process. And so the $50 gift card comes from a local business, most likely a restaurant that are really struggling right now. So we're trying to get our hand in, in every way that we can. Um, and the past contest was actually a really amazing um, contest, which was sharing a video of your quarantine experience. And we kind of thought of it because everybody is in quarantine right now. And we thought, you know, this is a shared experience and everybody can probably has similar yet different experiences that we, that we kind of wanted to see. Um, and when they first submitted, I just, I, I couldn't believe how, um, kind of nostalgic it was to see all these submissions. Um, there's this feeling of unity, you know, we're all in this together. And um, it was great to kind of create a, um, a collaboration of all those videos, which I'd love to share with you if we have a minute, because it was great to just see everybody's experience during, um, you know, quarantine and a pandemic. Right, right. It, it, there actually are some good things that have come out of it. And I have to say, first of all, that the name of that contest was very clever, the co video. <laughs> Yes. Video contest. Um, yes, if you if we can watch that now, I'd love to take a look at that collaboration of, of videos that were submitted to us. Wonderful. All right, I'll roll it. the COVID-19 quarantine. I have been able to uh, see some of my friends via FaceTime.
are growing in my yard. Trees, flowers, weeds. I need to mow the lawn. Do you see the little mute button? Jenna can be on the screen or I can be on the screen. This is my whale. Coronavirus Christmas. 2020. These are the things I clean. What stuff do we touch? Hmm, what stuff do we touch? Well, as a goat, I've never really cleaned much. And no, I have not run out of toilet paper. Well, there we have it. And we had submissions all the way from France. I don't know if you uh, saw this very cinematic shot of some mountains. And yeah, it was from one of our interns is French and she got one of her friends to submit uh, his video. And so it was so great to just see everybody's different perspectives. And uh, the winner was actually uh, Regina Wall Rab, AKA Chacha the Clown, who won a $50 gift card to Nicholas Restaurant. I think that's great. And I, I like that you're sharing it with everybody so everybody can um, see other people's perspectives, but the winners were picked randomly. Is that right? Absolutely. So, yeah. So we're absolutely every, um, every submission, every contest we have, we use a random winner generator. So everyone has an equal opportunity to win. And it's really not about skills. That's what I want to get out there. It doesn't have to be the best photo. We're just asking for people to, to share their experience and also to give them an opportunity to get creative. Sure, I like that a lot. So is there anything else coming up that we can look forward to from Metro East or uh, that we Absolutely. should know about? Well, first of all, stay tuned because we've got uh, different workshops and different activities going on on a weekly basis. You know, our team is keeping in touch and we're constantly keep, keeping up and um, coming up with interesting ideas. So stay in touch, stay tuned on our social platforms, on our website. And one of the things that's coming up is how to build your own website, which I think is an invaluable uh, workshop and that a lot of people may need, especially now more than ever. Digital communication is invaluable at this moment. It's our only form of communication, really. So um, it'll be a, a great uh, learning experience. That's actually happening next week. People can go to our website, metroace.org, and if they click on the events tab on the top right corner, um, they can find our workshops there. Or if uh, you go to our Facebook page, just go to our events and you can find all the information and the links to get registered. And again, I just want to emphasize that these workshops are completely free, no strings attached. I think that's wonderful. And if people really get into them and want to keep in touch, we have great newsletters. They can sign up on the website to, to get our newsletters, which you put out and they're, they're really good. So thank you yeah. so much for, um, for sharing the great things that are coming out of Metro East. And, and I hope that, you know, people will stay creative and stay connected with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And for anybody that's watching, if you have any questions whatsoever about Metro East, feel free to send us an email at info at metroeast.org we'd be happy to respond and follow up with you as soon as possible. Great. Thanks, Sassity, for being on the show today. And from all of us at Metro East, to all of you out there, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.